Hi everyone, this is Dr. Saida Palafini from Cal Poly Pomona. In this video, we are going to talk about two uh, new queuing systems and uh, MM Infinity as well as GIG Infinity. So the main characteristic of both this system is that the number of servers in both these systems is infinite, meaning that there is no limitations on the number of servers that are available. So as soon as any entity or any customer comes to the system, they immediately can go to any one of the servers that are available and start the service process. Um, in the first system, the interval time and exponential time have exponential distribution. However, in the second system, the interarrival time and exponential uh, the interarrival time and the service time have um, they can have any type of distribution. They have just this general distribution, and we want to see how we can uh, basically analyze this type of queuing systems. So, um, examples of such scenarios when there is infinite number of servers, as we can see here. Um, are situations where, for, when, for example, the customers can uh, enter a system and then there is some maybe self-service operations. For, for example, the customers need to do um, an operation on their cell, cell phone. So every customer can does the operation to his or her own cell phone. So there is no limit on the number of servers that are available and then the customers have to wait in the line to get on, the server, on those servers. So every customer can just use his or her own a cell phone and um, perform the process. So in this scenario, basically, there are infinite number of servers or for as many customers as, as come to the system, there are servers and they can immediately start the work and they don't need to wait in the line. Um, in this scenario, uh, the, the, uh, the entire time of the stay of the customer or entities in the system is basically the time that they spend on, on receiving the service. So that's basically the, the main time that they spend in the system. Obviously, obviously since there is infinite number of uh, servers in the system, uh, the, the waiting time in the system is zero. So WQ, obviously in the system, the waiting time in the queue is zero. I, I, also, LQ is zero as well. The number of customers that are waiting in the queue is zero as well. So if WQ is zero, then the whole time that the customers spend in the system, which is always WQ plus WS, is uh, since WQ is zero, this is going to be equal to WS. So the whole time that the customers spend in the system is basically the time that they spend to get the service that they need. So now let's look at the general scenario when, the, uh, when there is infinite number of servers. However, the interarrival time and the service times have any general distribution. So um, I'm going to, to use letter A to show the interarrival time. Still, interarrival time is a random variable. The only difference between the systems and every other system we have looked at so far is that interarrival time does not have exponential distribution. It, it has some general distributions. And still, I'm going to show the arrival rate with lambda and the relation that average or expected value of the interarrival time equals to inverse of the arrival rate, that relation still holds. Similarly, I'm going to use S, letter S, to show service time. And again, the main difference between the system and other systems is that service time does not have an exponential distribution. It has just any general distribution. I'm still going to use uh, mu to show the service rate and the relation that expected value of the service time equals to one over mu it still holds in this system. Uh, then we can show that in this system, Little's law holds. So if you remember, Little's law was L equals to lambda W. Uh, however, here we just discussed that uh, the time waiting in the system, in this type of queuing system, equals the time that they spend to get the service. And the time that they spend to get the service equals to one over mu. So L equals to lambda over mu, which is exactly the formula that is written here. We can also show that if interarrival times have exponential distribution and the service time still can have any distributions, then we can write these systems as M to represent the interarrival time have exponential distributions. 
G, service time have an internal distribution and infinity, infinite number of servers. So if that's the case, if these are the, this is the type of game system that we are dealing with, we can show that we can use this formula to calculate pi j, which is the steady state probabilities in this system, the steady state probability related to having j number of entities or customers in the system. So make sure to pay attention that this formula holds if and only if the arrival, the interarrival time has exponential distribution and the service time has any general distribution and we have infinite number of servers in the system. Now let's look at uh, two examples. In the first example, we are looking at the town and here the ice cream, there are three ice cream shops can open in this town each year. On average, three ice cream shops can open in, in this town each year. Also, on average, every ice cream shop stays open in this town for about 10 years. We want to need, we want to know, um, we want to know on average, what is number of shops that, is, that are working in this town in year 2525. So here there's nothing specific about the year 2525. So this basically means in the long run or in the city state. So let's see what are the characteristics of this, of this system. So obviously here we can, we can look at the town as our queuing system. The ice cream shops are a, basically the entities that enter the system. Um, then we get three ice cream shops that open per year. And when they open in this town, they, can, they are going to work for 10 years and then they close and then they basically leave this town. So this is a characteristic of a system that we, that we can put under the umbrella of infinite servers. Why? Because um, there is no limit on how many ice cream shops can open in this, rest, uh, in this town um, each year. Um, and also when they open, and as soon as they, they open in this town, as soon as they enter the system, they immediately start working. So that's considered as their service time. And as soon as that is done, as soon as those 10 years are done, they leave the system. So basically the time that they stay in the system is their service time and there is no limit on how many of them can enter this town in each year. So this falls under the category of infinite servers type of queuing system. So three ice cream shops open in this restaurant in each year. That's our lambda or arrival year, uh, arrival rate. So that's three shops per year. And then they stay open in this town for 10 years. So that's basically our service time or the time in this system. That's going to be 10 years. So then the service rate is one over service time. It's going to be one over 10 shops per year. So the first question here is asking us, what is the average number of shops in this town in the long run? So that's basically asking about L, average number of shops or entities in this town or in this system. L equals to lambda over mu in the system. Lambda equals to three and mu is one over 10. That's going to be 30 shops that are working in this town in any given year. The second question asks us if the time between opening of the, of the shops in this town has exponential distribution, what is the probability that we have 25 shops working in this town in any given year? So the time between opening of the shops in this town, since the shops are the entities that come to the system, the time between opening of the shops basically is the inter arrival time. If the interarrival time has exponential distribution and service time can have any, gener any general distribution, and we know that also we have infinite number of servers in the system, so this is the type of queuing system that we are dealing with. So we want to know what is the probability that in any given year there are 25 shops working in this town. So the probability of having 25 entities in this system that's going to be pi 25. So we want to find we want to find pi 25. And based on this formula here, we learned that if we are looking, if we are working with these type of systems, we can use this formula to find pi j's, which are steady state probabilities of having j number of 
customers or entities in the system in the long run. So then pi 25 in the system is going to be e to the power of minus lambda over mu, lambda over mu to the power of 25, and then 25 factorial. So that's going to be e to the power of minus 3 over 1 over 10, 3 over 1 over 10 to the power of 25 over 25 factorial. And that's going to be 0.05. So that means there is 5% chance that there are 25 restaurants working in this town in every given year. Let's look at the second example. So in this example, what we have is that every year, on average, 500 people pass the bar exam in New York State and enter the legal profession. Also on average, a lawyer stays in this state and practices law for about 35 years. 50 years from now, which again shows that on, in the long run, how many lawyers would you expect there to be in the New York State? So let's see again how this system falls under the category of infinite service. So in this town, which is a queuing system, the lawyers are basically our entities. So 500 people or lawyers pass the bar exam and enter the law profession or the legal profession. And then they stay this system, and then and then they enter this system, they stay and work in this system for 35 years. So that's basically we can consider the time staying in the system or the, or their service time. And then after the 35 years, they are done and they are out of the legal profession. So um, on the long run, how many lawyers would be in the New York State working? Um, so obviously there's no limit on how many lawyers can enter the legal profession in the New York State. So that puts the system in the infinite server category. And uh, the fact that on average 500 people can enter the uh, law legal profession in this town shows that the arrival rate is 500 lawyers per year. And each lawyer stays in this town and works for and practices law for 35 years. So that's our service sum or the time spending in the system. That's 35 years. And as a result, service rate is going to be 1 over 35 lawyer per year. We want to see that how many lawyers will be in this town in every given year. That's going to be L, which is lambda over mu. That's 500 over 1 over 35. That's 17,500 lawyers. So in any given year, there are 1,700, um, there are 17,500 lawyers working in the system. That's going to be 17,500 lawyers. So that means that in any given year, there are 17,500 lawyers working in this system. 